Hello, hello, and welcome back to Algebra. We are in Chapter 9, Section 4. We're talking about probability of disjoint and overlapping events. All right, so we looked at this example here, and we said the probability of uh, drawing a purple and drawing an even, okay, a number that is both purple and even, that's only the 2, so that's 1 out of the 7. Now, we could show this by saying, okay, we have purple numbers, we have one, two, and three, and then even numbers, there is two, and then we also have four and six, and they are not purple, but they are even, and two is in both of these. Okay, so only one of all of these uh, are purple and even. Now, if I want A or B, if it should be purple or even, then it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, or 6. So it could be any of those five that fulfills that statement. Now remember, or, we're adding probabilities, but it's not the three purple plus the three evens, because the two occurs both in purple and in even. So we can't count that twice, so we've got the one, the 2, the 3, the 4, and the 6 that fulfill this statement. Now, if I want to draw a green, okay, green, we have the 4 and the 5, and then we have the other one, draw a red. Now, if it's red, by definition, it can't be green. All right, so if it's probability of both of these happening, A and B, it has to be green and it has to be red. Well, that probability is zero. There is no number that is both green and red. The probability of or, it's either green or red, and that's going to be three out of the seven. Three out of the seven are either green or red, and there's no overlapping between them. All right. Using that example, we looked at overlapping and disjoint or mutually exclusive events. So overlapping, like we had the evens and the purples. Those were overlapping, and there was a segment that was both of those. Okay, so the union of both of them happening, that's this or that one, and that's this one's or. The union is or. The intersection is both of it has to be fulfilled. That's the and. The intersection is and, the union is or, it could be this or that, and then the intersection, this is also an or, but this is in a disjoint or mutually exclusive. Okay, that means there is no section that overlaps between them. All right. So, we looked at this previously, said if these are overlapping, um, we got 5 out of the 7. We didn't get 3 plus 3. We had to subtract the 2 once because it occurs in both of them. So if I count 1, 2, 3 purples and then 2, 4, 6, then I have to subtract the 2 once. So the probability of A and B happening is the probability of A, which was 3 out of 7, plus another 3 out of 7 for the evens, but when, then we have to subtract the one where they're both the same, where A and B are both true, and that's the 1 out of 7, and that's how we end up with 5 out of 7. So that way we eliminate the one where they overlap. Now, if they don't overlap, then it's, and we're saying or, then we can just add these together. All right, that's the probability of A plus the probability of B, if they are disjoint or mutually exclusive events. All right, so we want to find the probability of a disjoint event. Card is randomly selected from a standard deck. What is the probability that it is a 10 or a face card? Okay, it helps to make a little Venn diagram so you can picture this. If it's a 10, it's not a face card. Okay, there are four suits, so there are four different tens. Okay, so we have four out of the 52, and then here, 
uh, four suits and three face cards each. Okay, so uh, that makes 12 out of the 52. So knowing all we have to do is add these up, we've got 4 out of 52 plus 12 out of 52, which gives me 16 out of 52, and I can simplify that to 4 over 13, or approximately 0 0.308. All right, now if we want to look at overlapping events, we are again selecting from playing cards, and we have a face card or a spade. Now notice that there are face cards that are spades, so that overlaps. Okay, so again, a Venn diagram would look like this. The king, queen, and jack of spades overlap, and they are both face cards and spades. So we're going to have to subtract those three. Okay, so we have 13 spades. Okay, so we have 13 out of the 52 that are spades, plus we have, again, 12 face cards, 3 times 4 out of the 52, but then we have to subtract these 3 out of the 52. Okay, so the probability we could just do 13 plus 12 and then subtract the 3, and so we get 22 out of 52. That simplifies down to 11 out of 26, or approximately 0.423. That's the probability. All right. Then here we have a problem which I know we, a lot of you don't like reading a lot of words. Just read through, see what's the important information. We have 200 students out of 200. Okay, so totals 200 in a senior class. 313 are either varsity or on the honor roll. Okay, so we can say, all right, so out of the total 200, we have 113 that are in these two groups. So either varsity or honor roll. Honor roll. There we go. Now we know that 74 are varsity, and we know that 51 are on the honor roll. 51. Okay. Together they make up. 113. Now we know that 74 plus 51 is not 113. So we have to have some overlapping ones. Okay, 71 plus 74 plus 51 is actually 125. All right? So I can figure out how many have to be overlapping between these. Or we can use the probability. Probability of, of A or B is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of them overlapping A and B. Okay, so we know that 113 out of the 200 are on one or the other. The probability of A a being varsity is 74 out of the 200 plus 51 out of the 200 minus the probability of A and B. All right, now we'll add this over here, probability of A and B. Add that to each side, probability of A and B, and then I'm going to subtract the 113 over 200. Subtract 113 over 200. All right, then I get this statement. Probability of A and B is 74 over 200 plus 51 over 200 minus 113 over 200. And that comes out to being 12 over 200. Okay, now we can simplify that down. That's 6 over 100, or 3 over 50. So the probability is 3 over 50, or divide that and you get 
point zero six or six percent. That's the probability. Now up here notice we could have also just said okay there's a hundred and twenty five total. What's the difference to one thirteen? Well the difference between these two is twelve. So that means twelve have to be in here overlapping because we'd have to subtract the overlapping ones. Okay, and then we could have started from there, said so 12 over 200. But I wanted you to see how to use that formula if you are lost how to solve that. That's about all the fun we can have today, but check in again next time for another fun lesson.